Doctors and nurses in El Paso are working hard to care for shooting victims. The president will visit tomorrow to show his support. KXAN's Steffi Lee explains what's next for families and patients working toward healing. I just feel grateful that I'm alive. He had the chance to kill me, but he didn't. You know, because God's with me and... Who could go against me? The first thing on Octavio Lazarde's mind when the shooting happened, his nephew, Javier Rodriguez. I wanted to take him to the room where my manager was. I tried to pull him to where I was. He said, what? I'm like, come over here. He said, where? I pulled him back with me. He came, the shooter came, and I guess he heard us. He shot him. Javier died in front of him. It was a horrible image, and I hope nobody ever goes to it. It's very painful, and I just hope that my family and I get better emotionally. Octavio was shot in his foot, shattering bone and damaging soft tissue. He has at least three surgeries ahead and will get help from this device to stabilize his bones. It's very important for, for us to try to give him the best chance for limb salvage as possible, and, and today starts that process. His doctors tell us if they can save his foot, it will take many months before Octavio can put weight on his leg. This pain will end. The only pain that will end is the emotional. Octavio's doctor says he shows a tremendous amount of fortitude, which will help with his additional surgeries that are ahead. Out of the 26 patients who are getting care at local medical centers, 15 are still receiving treatment. Live in El Paso, Steffi Lee, KXAN News. Steffi, thank you. Governor Greg Abbott, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, and House Speaker Dennis Bonin will all be with President Trump tomorrow in El Paso.